at some point in time or another we've all had things go wrong with them. This is a very popular remote in use and the big problem with these remotes is the, the volume buttons go bad. See the I press any buttons on here. But the volume buttons don't work. Sometimes if I play with the channel the volume up button it will work but the volume down button doesn't work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to take these things apart and hopefully be able to fix these remotes. It's quite common what happens on remote controls. So first thing we do is remove the batteries. Many remote controls have a screw that you need to remove and sometimes it's a security screw. Let's take it, examine this one here and we find that this one here is not, it's just a, but it is a mini Torx. We may be able to remove this with a screwdriver of some type. What I use to remove this mini Torx screw here is I have a small screwdriver that the tip has been has been modified on, it's been filed down a bit. Once we have the screw out, we're able to pop the remote control apart. I don't know what I'm going to find in this thing because this is not my remote, it was one that I took out of a garbage can. Just to show you how to open these things up, you just kind of pry into the side of them. This little catch is that you have to pop open. The catch is down here and on the side, so once you pop your screwdriver in, you should be able to just work your way along and pop the remote open like that. Once you got the remote open, the circuit board should just lift out. Of course, we have the springs are caught up here. So now you've got the circuit board open and you got the rubber key sheet. And we're going to peel this thing back and just look at all the goodies we find under here. This is what goes wrong usually on these remote controls <clears throat> is they get stuff spilt into them. Our volume keys are right here. So the corresponding keys on the on the circuit board is right there. Now as you see how these things work is it's just a piece of carbon on the bottom of the rubberized keypad. And when you press down a key, what it does is it flexes this carbon coated rubber pad up to make contact with the circuit board. Here's our volume keys here. Volume up, volume down when you press the, the key. As you can see it flexes in and it makes contact. And basically what it does is on the circuit board pad here it makes contact across the two bottom ones here the two top ones. And as you can see if you look right here you can see wear marks for one, but you can see this little line of gunge. That's probably the point that it's worn out. We're going to just clean this one up. A lot of times when you clean these remotes, now there are, there are repair kits that you can buy. MG Chemicals, for example, makes one. Comes with a primer a contact cleaner and a little package of super glue and instructions and there's another little bottle here this is uh, this is a conductive coating and what's in this one here is well it's kinda like a, like a silvery compound if you look and you can basically apply that back to the rubber and it will repair the remote control. 
Now I'm not going to uh, use this. And the reason why is for well, what it takes about 24 hours for it to cure. For for two, I don't want to waste this stuff on this remote. That stuff's reserved for one of my own remotes goes bad. So we're gonna see if we can repair this one just by cleaning the contacts up and see whether that will fix the problem. So I'm just gonna use some of my good old TF degreaser. Pressure actually is gone on this can and uh, oop, I was able to resurrect some of it by yeah, it's kind of brown, it's coming out of there by putting some air pressure in it. So I don't know whether this stuff's any good anymore, but we'll try it. We're just gonna clean the contact and we'll do the same for the rubber keypad here I think the inside of my can is rusting it seems like a lot of rust that came out of it, look at that it's uh, probably putting more dirt on this thing than I'm actually cleaning never seen that happen before so now we'll put the rubber keypad back in place and place the circuit board back in place over top of it infrared window and if all goes right we should be able to line up the, the little springs with the battery terminals and just snap it back together <clears throat> load our batteries and see whether it uh, works so here we go I just snapped it back together and remember the volume down button wasn't working before look at that volume down button is now working as is the volume up So we just repaired this remote control in like five minutes. All the functions are once again, as you can see, working. That's how you repair a basic remote control. And then we just snap all the clips back together. And if we want, we can put the screw back into the bottom of it. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.